So what's up guys? How are you? Welcome back to my channel and uh, by the way I just uh, went home uh, from uh, uh, purchasing some of the materials for uh, our new project and uh, this is it, our new project. just noticed that this area is available and uh, is very much uh, viable for an uh, expansion and uh, I was planning to put a uh, a pond here but uh, unfortunately uh, a concrete pond will not be suitable for this area so I'm planning to put a trapand or a pond made of trapal and uh, other materials and so uh, for today, I purchased some of the materials and uh, I want to uh, um, gradually start on the project so that uh, I can load another batch of red tilapia for ma the trapand or for the fish pan. And uh, um, I made a lot of plans and uh, I want to show you here the plan. So the plan is to put a... Um, 3 by 3 by 2 by 6 trapand and um, it will be uh, equipped with uh, steel, the mechanical filter and the biological filter and together with a sump so that's my plan and um, uh, I think uh, I should start working on this trapand as soon as possible so that we can load the red tilapias in the system and uh, I hope you will uh, uh, excuse me for a while so that I can start working on the project so I have to go so what's up guys I'm back on my uh, second day of my uh, construction of the new uh, trapand so this is the frame of uh, my trapand so as you can uh, observe and uh, you might be wondering uh, this is still incomplete because uh, what I'm uh, will try to do is to put a base here using a uh, plastic matting this one plastic matting I got this one from my old um, dog cage there it is and uh, we're not using this anymore so what I did is um, I condemned the plastic matting and we'll use this for our trapand so basically guys I will put the flooring here the plastic matting and uh, for that matter it can hold the water and uh, mind you this is the dimension of this uh, frame is two foot two foot or two feet i'm sorry and the length is six feet the height is three feet so basically um this is all 36 cubic feet and um if you convert this into gallons it's uh most likely to be 260 gallons of water so for me, I will only fill this with 250 gallons of water so that uh, I can put some more fish in this one. So um, uh, give me some more time so that I can finish the trapand and I will show you some of the sections or the um, system that I'm uh, doing right now. And uh, so I will continue working on it and um, I will show you later what will happen. Okay. So now we're done fixing our uh, plastic matting in the bottom of the uh, frame of this uh, trapand and uh, I already uh, fixed the uh, pipe for our uh, drain outlet and this will also serve as our um, overflow pipe. And I already made the uh, solids uh, lifter 
I placed two solid lifter here because uh, this uh, pond is a rectangular form and that just like the IBC tank that it is uh, in a square uh, type. So I think this uh, will work. And then the filters will be placed in that area beside the uh, trap pond and as well as the sump tank over there at the end of the trap pond. So I will finish this and I will uh, try to uh, put on the uh, trapal or the polyethylene sheet so that uh, we will know if um, when uh, we're going to uh, put in the water there are leaks and then we'll try to run the system. So for the trapal, I use this type of trapal, this one because it's a uh, heavy duty and uh, will last more than years because the other type the uh, the um, laminated sack is uh, too weak to handle and given the this type of setup i think this one is needed for the new system or for the trapand the trapal in the frame and uh, this is the result of my construction well uh, definitely this is not yet final because uh, I just uh, put it here so that the uh, sealant will uh, dry for the meantime there is a brace and uh, I don't think this is the most uh, beautiful uh, trapand ever made but uh, I think that this one will work so basically i just tied up everything just like this one okay and then um later on if uh we need to adjust we can easily adjust the uh, rope or the nylon rope for that matter and then uh, for now i will uh, try to put water inside uh, the pond so that we can uh, we will know if uh, it will level down and uh, if uh, it can hold the water so that we can make the necessary adjustment. Then after that, if there's no uh, problem, uh, all I need to do is to uh, install the uh, filters beside it. And then uh, I will run the system and once the system is uh, in shape, I will fill this with water and uh, it will be a nice time for what we call a uh, dechlorination so that later on we can uh, load the fish once uh, it comes in okay so be back soon so as of the moment we are uh, filling the trapand with water and uh, as of this time the water already surpassed the uh, level of the connection of the standpipe and I think there is no leak no there is no water coming out and it's safe to say that uh, we've done a good job okay so I will just continue filling this water until uh, it reach half of the pond and then I will just uh, leave this for an overnight so that on the next day uh, we will see if what will be the other problems that um, will come and uh, for that matter uh, I won't be too long and um, I will see you on the next clip for the continuation of my uh, Trapan renovation or extension for the new stock that will be coming in so thanks for watching and uh, good day to all of you